somebody asked me to do a consultation with them, it's like, bro, like, unfortunately, when it comes to us, a lot of people that look like me can't afford me if I give yeah. them my true value. Yeah. So it's like, when it comes to working with our people, we always have to discount our value. And what that does is, it creates a disconnect between what our true value is, yeah. right? And what our serving value is. Yeah. Because the value that we discount ourselves to serve is different than the actual value that we have. I'd rather say completely no, yeah. or I'm gonna find a way to leverage that to where I feel like I'm getting the value and you are too. Going with uh, value and worth, um, shout out to 19 Keys and uh, the Master Investor, uh, Ian, because they had an amazing conversation uh, the other day. It, it was a two-part situation, right? Yeah. But uh, Moose sent me this clip, and I was like, ooh, and it, uh, the difference between your worth and your service uh, price is the topic, and let's just let's just talk about it. Somebody asked me to do a consultation with them. It's like, bro, like, unfortunately, when it comes to us, a lot of people that look like me can't afford me if I give yeah. them my true value. Yeah. So it's like when it comes to working with our people, we always have to discount our value. And what that does is it creates a disconnect between what our true value is, yeah. right? And what our serving value is. Yeah. Because the value that we discount ourselves to serve is different than the actual value that we have. I'd rather say completely no, yeah. or I'm gonna find a way to leverage that to where I feel like I'm getting the value and you are too. Hmm. That is, that that made me stop in my tracks. Again, you, you know, we've been talking about the main theme for this one is intentionality, yep. but I've never heard of anyone talk about their true value and their serving value. Mm -hmm. He even goes on to talk about the leveraging value. Yes. If you're, if like you really pay close attention. So he he's very clear on the lines that cut out between True value, service value, leverage value. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that many of us as creative entrepreneurs trying to build brands and businesses in this digital era are, are as intentional or as clear about what those things are for us. So just because, yeah, there is a societal pressure to give back to people who look like us to make sure that no one comes up and says, yo, you think you're big time or you don't even you don't even give back to the community. You're just taking from them because of how much you charge. So there's a pressure that comes up about and you're like, ah, man, all right, fine. Let me cut. Let me slash my prices. Like, I don't want people to think that I'm I'm out to, to get them. But then when other opportunities are presented to you that are willing to pay your true worth, you probably quote them the wrong price because you're treating everyone the same. Or you're not better yet, because I don't want to say we should switch prices based on who we're dealing with, but you're just not mindful of, oh, I discounted my price because I'm dealing with a specific almost community that I want to serve. I want to bless. I want to work with them differently. But let me not take that approach to deal with people in business who, who are working off of value for value or true value for true value. So I, I just love how intentional he was about defining the different types of it and is is almost accepting of the fact that, hey, some people who I want to help, I'm at a level where they can't even afford what I, what I have, but I'm also still putting enough free things out there so that if you really wanted to, you can learn quite a bit before you even have to make that large sum investment. I just want to appreciate... Uh... 19 Keys for these high level conversation. The podcast right. name literally uh, speaks it on lives what up he to the puts up. Yeah, now. Nah. Uh, mm -hmm. So shout out to 19 Keys on that one. Um, but of course, this one hits home, right? Because I feel that because we discount services, like our price for services, whether it is to try to be one up on the on the competition or either because we are not we don't feel like they could afford it 
like it makes you it makes you really question your worth and it, mm-hmm. and it creates frustration because when you do have your conversations of like oh I'm so much I'm I'm worth so much more right and you get frustrated with yourself because the what you're charging and what you're worth never really adds up right mm-hmm. and then you do uh up your price and then you're still not there with it right mm-hmm. cuz i think in that conversation like literal literally a little bit before then he was like yeah i'm i'm, I'm worth a billy mm-hmm. right yep. you can't make somebody like you can right but who can afford a billy is 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 slim to none now right is it's very is low compared to you know well if i did it at this price i did it at this price i could get more of a scale and sometimes even from when we're thinking about some marketing uh points they do tell you to like half your price of what it's honestly worth for scalability for yeah. more people to get it right so you're discounting something that you probably spend i don't know countless of hours on it's probably worth well over thousands of dollars based off the information you're doing based off the work you're doing the labor all that and you have to sell it for $20 you have to sell it for $100 $500 and it's like even even like even those marketing schemes will make you question your value mm-hmm. and i love what he said about the leveraging Right, I love it's like I say no to a lot of things, but I if I could leverage it, I'll do it. I'll say no or I have to understand there's some type of leverage that both of us can it's a mutual situation now. Now it's deeper than money because what what you wanted to pay me is definitely not my worth. But I see true value in us working together where I can, can service you, you can service me, but there's a greater cause to it. There's something of a deeper meaning or it gets me to rooms or levels that I wasn't necessarily on. And that alone can equal up to the value of what I am in, in, in general. So yeah, that is that is a different type of game, which some people know what to do with. Some people don't because yeah. it's a survival mode for for some. It's more on, you know, I got bills to pay. Like, I got to get this. I got to stand with this status. I got to do this. I got to do that. And once again, those leverage things, those equity moves, these are long game situations. This is not a short, like everything that we're going over is something that is worth way more down the line. And yeah. it's, and if we can wrap our heads with, okay, if I'm in the service-based situation, this is why I don't want to be in service-based. This is why I don't. Because it's like, I will, I got frustrated. First off, servicing you in a particular way doesn't make sense to me because of how much you want to pay for it. Now, Mm -hmm. even when we create elite pricing, it's still like, no, it's not worth it compared to me stopping from my, like, it stops me from my creativity. Yeah. Right? And so I'm like, I can't stop my creativity anymore. It could possibly be different later, right? It could be something that, you know, once I've reached a certain level, boom, I could go back and here we go, right? But I think, and I'm speaking for me, 
the teaching part has given me a sense of service that I do and the, the mutualism is impact. Mm. It's not money, anything like that. It's impact. To get DMs that's like, yo, I listened to your live and I did something you said and the the chick started crying. I'm not going to say her name. Started crying like, yo, a stranger said I needed that. Like off of my post, a stranger said they needed what I said and what you've done all your life, all the programs, like it changed my life. That is mutualism. That right there is like, okay, I will teach all day, every day, put out these programs all day, every day in order to change somebody's life like that, to make them feel that they can do something now and that their words are powerful. That's mutual for me. Right. Yeah, that's good. And yeah. I can't put, for me to really do that, I can't put a dollar amount to it, but the people that execute on it and change their brands, change their content, that's, that's the mutualism. So you have to understand that what, how am I leveraging maybe this low cost situation? Because it's going to be, it's not going to be never, but it's going to be rare for somebody who identifies what they're really worth and somebody uh, pay that in some way, shape or form. But they can pour into you somehow, some way for that same amount. Mm -hmm. And that we have to look at it from a mature way of okay, this makes sense and this is worth it. Instead of trying to get every single dollar and be like, nah, I'm worth um, team amount. You got to pay me this. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. I've, uh, I've, I've kind of, well, not kind of, m my philosophy around it now is that there, there are multiple ways to collect currency. Mm -hmm. And and cash is not the only one, right? Like mm -hmm. some believe like, hey, my currency is going to be, uh, say, deposits in heaven. I don't know. Like it, it, I believe that. Like for real, that's, that's kind of my mentality with it. Like, yo, I'll take that deposit. The currency is different. It's just not cash. I, matter of fact, I, I want that one more than the cash right now. Right. You know, so it, it, it's, it's also just a, a reminder of like, Whatever your currency is and, and you're good with it, cool. But just be intentional about where you draw the line because that is where some of these Diddy situations might come and happen to you. And you're like, wait a minute. Yep. How was I getting paid $10, but you just made $10 million? Okay, I, using, using my stuff. Right. That, okay, I'm confused. Right. Uh, time out. <laughs> Let me process this a little bit differently. So just whatever your currency is, whatever your currency of choice no problem, own it. But the lesson here is know where you draw the line so that you don't regret something down the, further down your journey because you were playing small ball and someone was balling out in the league. It's like, oh, two different levels and you missed the point because of it. Facts. <laughs>